was yeah. uh, having such an interesting time yes. meeting this young actor, and it's Dan Shaked. Yes, Shaked. Shaked. Yes, you can call me Shake Not Stirred. People say that sometimes, <laughs> okay. but it's Shaked. Shaked. Dan, first of all, you know, this must have been a real daunting challenge taking this on. Yeah. Um, because. I can imagine there must be a fear being judged by those on the spectrum mm -hmm. because you're not on the spectrum. Right, right. Uh, tell us about taking this role Well, on. you know, I, over time, spent so much time with so many different kids on the spectrum on different levels of it that they, I didn't feel at some point like I had to make one strong decision about what it means to look autistic or what it means to feel autistic mm -hmm. and I can combine my own fears and my own obsessions and one of the best things that someone told me um, was a uh, mother of an autistic kid is that when you meet one autistic kid it's you meet one autistic kid and I went well then when you meet me you've met me so I don't really need to do anything yeah. to come off as a stereotype of autism or look a certain right. way but there's general mannerisms and I worked a lot sensorily with with it uh, about feeling smell touch because as it's trained at Strasbourg which is very much about into sensorial work uh -huh. autistic kids are very heightened I've learned about yes. sense yes. Yeah. the colors the lights so I use that as my base I think to get to the core of the character to the truth of it and let everything else kind of fall into place around it Right. And so the this senses. character that you're playing, he's how old? He's 23. 23, getting ready. He's applying to law school mm -hmm. and has this mom who, she sounds a little familiar to yeah, me. Yeah, like kind a, of like <laughs> us. The autism warrior mom right. who does every intervention, every yes. treatment, mm -hmm. everything to bring her child to be the highest functioning he mm -hmm. can be. And she right. gets there. And she gets there. Him. And I think and what I think that's also important is the kid appreciates it in the play. Mm -hmm. This isn't a relationship between a mother and son that mm -hmm. there's this t t um, anger mm -hmm. and frustration. There is a little bit, but the kid wants to help the mom. Right. He sees that the mom has lost money and he goes, I'm going to use my skill in autism, which is sustained concentration, mm -hmm. and I'm going to apply it and I'm going to make it an advantage rather than a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. And I think his mom sees that over time and that strengthens our relationship over time. And then well. through this, wanting to use your strength and get employment and bring money in, you meet this young woman. First, you meet her virtually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And technology, as we heard, plays a big part of the play that, you know, your conversations with her and online, that you guys have a technical way of showing, demonstrating all that. But then eventually it, it turns into a potential love interest. Now, right. this, this is an arena that, uh, you know, I just talking about yeah. when my son gets in, you know, uh, my butt cheeks get tight. Well, I'm sure <laughs> I, know, well, yeah, but I do kind of live for the day that I see Wyatt make out. I'm sorry. Really? <laughs> yes. It's just, well, no, because it's a desire I have for him to have that well, kind of Well, of course I have a desire, but I don't want to see it, Nancy. Well, okay. <laughs> I right. know about I'm going to sneak and I'm, I'm going to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does it, and I can see it when, when I see my mom see me uh -huh. interacting with her in a romantic or sexual way, it's, it's very loving and it's really, I think it's something that all moms want their kids uh -huh. to see, whether they're autistic or not. Right. And the way we express it is not that different, right. I've learned. It's just... It's actually more interesting and engaging, actually, than to watch sometimes not neurotypical people right, be in right, love right. because they're actually connected. You can see their connections. But there are all these cues, uh, possibilities, and we just saw the clip, and there was and there was a moment when the two of you kiss, and she says, "Okay, can we have sex now? Right. Gonna, is this the next step? <laughs> right. Having sex now? Um, you know." So there are some difficulties that come with and catching those cues, and it's interesting that in in the research that I read, the mom is maybe a little bit concerned because her vision of what this young man was going to do and who he was going to be in a relationship with, she hadn't factored in that mm. maybe it would be someone who was on the, on spectrum, the spectrum and more profoundly affected right. Right. than the child. Right. She just worked so hard to, to make look right. like fall in love else. with a typical right. person. Right. And I think maybe that comes from maybe not understanding what makes the, the, me as the autistic kid, what makes me happy is going to be different than what makes her happy. And other moms have told me that too, that part of the struggle is to kind of go, okay, that's what my son likes. My mm -hmm. son likes Greek gods and he likes to talk about other worlds and fantasy things and being okay with that and loving that he loves that yeah. and going, that's his thing, not mine, and I'm happy that he loves that. Right. 
It's and that constant challenge between wanting them to fit in, fit in. in yeah. the neurotypical, because let's face it, we live in a neurotypical world. Right. And then to respect the differences as well, which is really what the heart, I think, of the play, play is. sounds like it's about. So you've, you've had an opportunity to have audience come in, audiences come mm -hmm. and see this, and you've gotten some great reviews. What Thank kinds you, yeah. of things are the parents of kids, or are, have you had some individuals who are older and on the spectrum who've come to see it and had an opportunity to talk to you? Yes, what I've had a couple. Yeah, I've had a couple of um, mostly men with Aspergers uh -huh. because I've heard that this it's, it's more uh, something like seventy percent Aspergers and men in thirty. Men. Yeah, um, and a lot of psychoanalysts come said that my they said that the behavior is was very convincing, and that's what I was worried about the most mm -hmm. is the behavior because this kid is trying to come off is neurotypical. Mm -hmm. has had right. twenty years of work, but he's still autistic, and right. you can't you can't right. escape that. Right. So to find that balance of when he would show a little more of his autism and when it would be pulled back mm -hmm. and kind of learned more and trained from all the OT work that he's mm -hmm. done mm -hmm. and finding those times when I'm calm and when I have outbursts mm -hmm. right. has been really the, the thing to look for and all the people that have come or most of them have said you really found that balance between Absolutely. that push and pull well there's between no the higher two. compliment than that I, yeah and you know I, Kathy Baker came the other night and she said you know I wasn't mm -hmm. sure if you when I bowed she said I wasn't sure if they hired an autistic kid mm -hmm. And there I said, you go. that's the best compliment from a great actress and <laughs> from someone who I think, you know, is friends with L L Ken Lezebnik and his uh, brother and uh -huh. said they're very aware of it. And that's a great compliment to hear that I can find that. Absolutely. So, yeah. It is a great compliment. <laughs> it was a great, wow. it was a great, yeah. Well, we are so excited for the success and for all of the great reviews you're getting. And uh, I'm very excited to see it on uh, Thank you. Thursday. Thank you very much. Uh, of next week. And we are about to meet your other half in the play. Virginia was amazing. Uh, Virginia. Yes. So we'll hear about her character and we wish you the best. Thank you and very thank much. Thank you for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having thank me. You so